ProWrestlingSheet.com What's up guys? Ryan Satin here with Lance Archer and you know, uh, we're getting into some dangerous waters here. I think that the, the one of the most hotly contested things that people talk about on social media is pineapple on pizza. People are big fans of pineapple on pizza. Some people are not big fans of pineapple on pizza. That would be me, the not fan. This would be Why? the big fan. Why? Well, I'll be honest with you, Lance. I think uh, I think a lot of people do this. Okay. I think that when you try something when you're a kid and you don't <laughs> like it, you then keep that thought process your whole life. But what made you not like it when you're a kid? It's no, it's sweet, it's spicy, it's sultry, it's everything you should want. I think it's the the sweet part. I don't usually mix what? the sweet and the savory type thing. Like I usually I keep did, them separate. Did you not eat candy when you were a kid? I did, but there's not like meat. Candy is sweet. <laughs> Pineapple is sweet. What? Yeah, but I didn't okay. put like candy on my regular food. I always kind of like, <laughs> we, I always try to like separate them a little bit, you okay, know? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so we'll, we'll dig in here while we're talking. Right. Here, you take the first oh, one there. You. Thank you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, so, I, and I have a feeling because we've also talked about. Wait, wait. Cheers. I'm cheers. always in Japan. Okay, we gotta say kanpai. Okay, kanpai. <laughs> so good. So. And I'm proud of you for eating it, right? I'm trying to step out outside of my comfort zone. Okay. And um, you know what? I'll keep going. I got one. I got one in there. Let me finish the whole slice first before I give a full opinion. But I think that, yeah, I think that people have things when they're a kid and they're like, no, nah, I don't like it, and they write it off forever. I feel like that's you with thin mint stuff, with with mint chocolate stuff. I don't know. I, I've tried like the mint chocolate ice cream. I've tried uh, different, you know, mint chocolate candy bars and things like that. And it's just. To me, like mint's good for gum, it's good for toothpaste, and that's what it reminds me of, is toothpaste. I, that's why I think, that's my negative reaction to it. It's like, oh, I'm eating toothpaste, this is great. Why would anybody enjoy it? Now, now that I'm getting closer to eating, uh, finishing this, it's not that I dislike it. Okay. I actually like it more than I thought I would. Exactly, I think that, exactly. I think the internet may be overreacting a little bit here, Lance. Wait, wait, wait. The internet overreact? <laughs> Never. That doesn't happen. What are you talking about? It's 2019. Everybody's very grounded and understands and listens to everything, especially on the internet. Social media is a very positive place. Oh, it's a very positive place. <laughs> love. Nothing but love. Love some some pineapple pizza. There you go, buddy. I mean, do you you know you, since you brought it up, does uh, uh, what do you think about like social media and stuff? I mean, do you think it's a good tool? Do you think it's a bad tool? Somewhere in the middle? I think it can be an amazing tool. It's one of those things that can reach so many people that you couldn't do on any other level with any other thing. You know, television is one thing, but television usually is really hard to get on and it's really expensive and everything like that. Where social media, it's at your fingertips. It's on your phone, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you want. And I think it's how you choose to use it. And unfortunately, it's also faceless. So the people that are reacting to you are just, they don't have to face you. They don't have to sit here like we're doing right now. Cause you may walk away from this pineapple pizza and say completely different things once we get, <laughs> get off this camera. And I won't. Not, we're not face to face. You're not face to face with the American no. Psycho Lance Archer right here from Newspaper Brooklyn. I, I don't want to get water spit in my face. <laughs> I won't be saying mean things after. Well, that's been vetoed, by the way. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. At this Globe show? No, by Newspaper. Just all in general? Yes. You can't spit the water yes. anymore? Yes. Why? Did you spit water in the wrong person's face? I, 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 I guess so. A small, <laughs> a small portion of the New Japan audience, which the majority of them loved it to the point where now we're getting off track, but I love this subject. I would go through the audience and do the water spraying and spitting and throwing and all that stuff. People were now holding signs in Japan, in English, saying, water please. <laughs> I came around the corner one time and an, a, an adult father had his child, probably, I don't know, one and a half, maybe two years old, held up waiting for me to come around the corner and spray the child to which my small conscience kicked in and just went nope went around the child and he was disappointed it was one of those oh you didn't christen my child <laughs> you didn't spit on my child you bastard i know they were so angry about it i think there was a small portion of the audience unfortunately that you know that were complaining about bags in their hair and that got listened to, and now I can't do it anymore. Breaking news. That is some breaking news there. I, so I, if you didn't like the water, <laughs> which makes you silly, don't worry. You're not getting For people who sit ringside, I guess it's not like the worst news to find out that you won't be spitting But in then there face. were people that would stand up and go, please. I went to the UK and worked for Rev Pro once. The only time I've gotten to go over there, I hope I get to go again. And I did the water entrance. And I came out, and two small kids, you know, they have probably in their 9, 10, 11 year old range, ran up to the barrier. Arms wide open, like, please. 
And one kid, I stopped and I went by him. The crowd booed me for not doing it. I came back and spit at him and they cheered. It was <laughs> awesome. See, honestly, stuff like that is why I love wrestling right now. Wrestling fans just want to have fun oh, more yeah. so than they have in the past, oh, you yeah. know? Like, they're willing to accept silly things. They're willing to kind of like be caught up in the moment. And, and that is kind of, that is cool. That's the coolest thing about the business. And I think that's the reason, you know, for years prior to this kind of boom that has existed in the business. I've luckily been with New Japan since 2011 before people were really even watching New Japan. You had to be a true hardcore fan, search YouTube, possibly get DVDs or things like that to watch New Japan. And now it's expanded to the point where it's so easily accessible through New Japan World and all that different formats it has. Obviously access TV over here in the States. We're here, we're coming here, we're doing a show tonight here. So the access is just growing and growing for New Japan. You know, there was still a time, like, if I did interviews with people and they would ask me, you know, what do you want to say to the fans, you know, of the wrestling business? And I'm like, just have fun. Instead of being negative, instead of tearing down stuff, find something that you like about the wrestling business and support that. Find a wrestler that you like and support them. Instead of going, well, this person sucks and that person sucks and I hate this person and I hate that section because it does nothing for the business. They're, the fans are the lifeblood of wrestling. You know, I, I do it and I enjoy it and it's fun, but without them, there is no wrestling business. Yep. And luckily right now, the wrestling business is booming because the fans are, are having fun. They're creating options. AEW is going to exist because the fan base has gotten so strong. New Japan has gone from a specifically Japan-based company that, you know, been around for almost 50 years. Yep. And now it's becoming a worldwide company. And as you mentioned, All Elite Wrestling, do you think mm -hmm. that... Ha, ha, do you see what kind of what other people are saying that the the announcement has kind of started to create some sort of a change in the industry of like more money being offered, kind of like more people being signed, just things are happening because of that announcement, you think? Well, absolutely, but that announcement doesn't come unless the fans are supporting it the way they have. Yep. You don't get to go to the independent shows. Again, I've, I've been lucky enough to be in this business for 18 and a half years. So I've seen the business on the independent level from a different perspective. You know when. WCW shut down way back in, what, 2000 or something like that? Mm -hmm. That was right as I was getting into the business. So, you know, you would go to indie shows, and if you got 100, 150 people at a show, you were lucky. You were happy. You were like, that was a big, amazing show. Um, now, so many shows are so strong with the fan base. You know, you go out to PWG out here all yep. the time, and it's one of the companies that's just helping the business grow, but those things don't exist without the fan base, and the fan base is creating opportunities like AEW. Because yep. obviously the Young Bucks and Cody and Hangman, all the elite guys, doing stuff like having the all-in show in Chicago, what, September last year? Yep. That doesn't happen unless the fan base supports it. Yep. And that's what's amazing and fun. So yeah, absolutely, IEW is helping change the, the, the face of the wrestling business because they're opening up opportunities. Because it's making not only WWE pay attention, I think, it's making New Japan pay attention. Yep. It's making Ring of Honor pay attention. Ring of Honor signing guys like uh, Brody King, who's from this area, right? Mm -hmm. You know, guys that... Bandito, too. Yeah, Bandito. Oh, amazing. You know, and it, it, it's one of those cool things that's opening up opportunities to see so much wrestling, so much amazing wrestling, at different places and different levels, and the fans just have to keep supporting it. If they keep doing it, they'll just keep growing. On social media, I'd see you uh, giving crap to the Bludgeon Brothers oh, when yeah. they were using your moves. Oh, yeah. You must be happy that they, they might not be a tag team anymore <laughs> at this point. Actually, for me, like, uh, what, is the, what do they say? Uh, um, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Yeah. And to me, it wasn't a problem. Like, I, I did it just because it was fun, it was tongue in cheek. If you watch when I gave him grief, it was never like, at those guys. Yeah. It's always like, oh, I see what you're doing. At least if you're gonna do it, use it as finish. Because they weren't even using it as finish. I like, remember that was your biggest crime like over the setup. whole thing. If you're gonna steal the move, use it. Make it mean something, you know? <laughs> and it, so I, I just saw it as a, as a form of flattery that somebody was watching us and going, yeah, those guys, what they do, y'all should do that. Make it big on their show. Or, you know, So I was never offended by it. Yeah. I was actually flattered by it. So, But like I said, I just did it tongue in cheek and whatnot. I, I don't know either one of those guys. I've, I've met them, I think, separately at different places and whatnot. So I respect them. I never had any grief from them and whatnot. So I'm not. Uh, I hope they have success. You know, I'm glad that Rowan's getting a chance with Dan O'Brien now. I don't know what's going to happen with Harper when he comes back. I hope he's part of it too. Because he's so good. I know he's, he's so, so good. good. He's one of the best wrestlers yes. in WWE. Yes, I agree. Yes. All right. Well, thank you so much. Oh wait, wait. wait. No. I have one more thing. Hold on a second. Oh. Yeah. What's your name again? My name is Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? No, I play pizza. Alright. Uh, you guys can have a slice of pizza. Oh, you guys already have pizza. And they look what's on the pizza. Oh, look at that. 
You guys they had have pineapple, pineapple on their pizza, that's pretty good. gentlemen. It's pretty good. Oh, if you guys are quiet for a few more minutes, you guys can have some of these cookies. Is that okay? <laughs> just let me finish filming without the noise. Is that okay? Yeah. Cool, cool. Okay. <laughs> He just bribed people with cookies. I definitely just bribed these little kids with cookies. Yeah, so the other thing that is contested on the internet is the, the mint chocolate chip stuff that we were referring to earlier. Uh, I, since I was gracious enough to eat the pineapple on pizza, I figure it's only fair that Lance uh, has a few cookies with At me. least you brought Oreo. I haven't tried these these Oreos, these uh, these mint Oreos. But they're so, Oreos, so. They're it's, Oreos, it's, so it's a little better than the Thin Mints at yes, least. So, yes. so we're going on this journey together, right, so. Right. <laughs> and they're thin ones, they're like little cute thin dudes. All right. Cheers. Cheers. All right. Mmm. Mmm. Is it too toothpaste too for you? Yep. yep. <laughs> I mean, I could eat them. I'm, I'm not opposed to the point of actually eating a lot of them, but at the same time, it's like eating cookies with toothpaste. Yeah, I you just, know. That's what I get every time. I'm kind of mad that these are the ones I brought. I really <laughs> wish I had Thin Mints because, no offense to Oreo, I'm not trying to get a sponsorship, but these aren't the best Thin Mint cookies, guys. I think there's something missing here. So next time, I'll bring Thin Mints next right. time. All right, guys, well, we're done here. Uh, make sure that while you're here watching the video, you like, subscribe, share, all that kind of fun stuff. And also, if you're one of the anti-pineapple and pizza types like me, give it a chance. I think, you know what? I think it's better than I gave it than I than I gave it credit for. It was actually pretty good. So okay, okay, okay. so so we, we don't have to give each other shit for it anymore. Do, do we hug now? No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pro